Fox 17 News at 10 starts right now. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Josh Berry. First tonight, a grisly crime in Kalamazoo Township today where police say a woman was stabbed and set on fire. Family members tell Fox 17 it was the woman's own daughter who did it. Our Doug Reardon has more from the street where that happened and that woman's incredible survival. Amazingly, that woman survived and is in stable condition tonight, family tells us, even after the suspect sat on her for two hours while she bled out on the floor. And then family also tells us the suspect called 911 on herself accidentally. We talked to the daughter-in-law of the victim tonight. She's still very shaken up by all of this. A lot of anger, a lot of sadness um, that her own family would betray her like this. The daughter-in-law of the 51-year-old Kalamazoo Township woman who was nearly stabbed and burned to death is still confused and scared by what happened here at this house in the early morning hours of Friday. There's been a lot of tears shed today, that's for sure. She didn't want her name or face on camera, but tells us amazingly her mother-in-law is in stable condition at the hospital. She is going to need lots of prayers. She's not out of the woods yet. She also tells us the victim's own daughter was the one behind the attack. We're told she stabbed her mother multiple times, set fire to her face and hair, and sat on her for almost two hours while she lay bleeding on the floor. It was horrifying and shocking news for the rest of the family. News they say they still don't have an explanation for. How can you do it? How can you do that? to somebody you love. We're also told the suspect only called 911 accidentally, meaning to call the 211 line for food and housing assistance instead. Police confirmed to Fox 17 that one suspect was in custody, but hasn't released the names of anyone involved in the attack. The rest of the family now hoping the suspect in custody is the only one involved and that answers come quickly in the ongoing investigation. Who suspects their family member of turning on you and just attacking you out of the blue? And we're also told that that victim takes care of her own mother and a disabled family member. So for now, other family is stepping in to help with that care. As for the suspect, once they are arraigned, we're told they will face charges of attempted murder and torture. In Kalamazoo, Doug Reardon, Fox 17 News.